What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with another top 6 video and today we're taking a look at the top 6 best soakers for turrets in all of Ark. So we're going to comprise this list of pretty much herbivores I believe, they are the best soakers in the game and we're going to go in depth to each one of them and see. Now this list is based off our opinion and off what we've used in PvP circumstances to soak turrets. So if whether or not you agree with it, I hope you enjoy the video but let's get into it. Okay, so coming in at number 6, we have the Gigantopithecus. Now, whoa, 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 what's going on? Why is the Gigantopithecus on this list? Well, the reason he's on this list is because he can actually soak the bullets. If the enemy's turrets are set to tames and players, your Gigantopithecus can actually soak the bullets for you while you stay invulnerable. Because you'll essentially be sitting on his back and the tar turrets will be soaking or damaging him. You'll see shortly that we'll actually get shot by these turrets. Ourselves are getting shot, not our actual ape, because we've got those turrets set to target us. But if we come around the other side to the other set of turrets, you'll see that they'll actually target the Gigantopithecus. Now, another really useful thing about having the Gigantopithecus as the tame slash mount that you want to use on it, you can actually give it a helmet of very good quality. You can see here we've got Ascendant Helmet on it with 429 armor. This can essentially boost the Gigantopithecus to godly terms in terms of soaking. However, all this can be nullified if the turrets are set to players only, and if they're not set to your teams. You'll see here shortly that we'll actually get these turrets to shoot at the Gigantopithecus. And you can see here, these turrets are set to players and teams only, and it's only dealing six damage to our Gigantopithecus. There are two turrets up there shooting at us. We'll get in nice and close for you guys to see. You can see two turrets are shooting at us, and there goes our helmet, which will result in our Gigantopithecus dying, unless you can get another helmet on it in time. So essentially, you can continue farming these, or soaking these bullets like so, by using helmets that have great armor values, and you can essentially survive like that. The Gigantopithecus is almost dead. Luckily, we had the extra helmets in his inventory, but this is essentially one way you can soak bullets up. However, like I said, do take into mind that the actual turrets do have to be set to target tames as well as players or tames themselves to be able to utilize this particular dinosaur. So that is why the Gigantopithecus is number six on this list. Now coming in at number five, we have the Bronto. Now the reason the Bronto is coming in at number five is because you can essentially soak turrets with the Bronto. If they're a big base, for example, you can see here that these turrets are pretty much lining up at us now, but you're actually protected on the back of the Bronto. So the Bronto will actually tank the damage for you and you'll be particularly safe on its back. You can see here the turrets aren't shooting at us yet. Now they are, and they're not actually shooting at us specifically. They're shooting at the Bronto because it is in the way of us. Now, if you have yourself a really decent Bronto saddle, you can essentially soak these turrets for an insane amount of bullets because the Bronto has a crap ton of health. This was a level 150 tank that hasn't had any extra levels put into it but each level it gets about 500 health and you can see that we're to soaking the bullets and protecting the actual player. So there is that as well but you can see our Bronto is slowly dying from this but it essentially protects the rider itself from the bullets. We also don't have a platform saddle on the Bronto so we're even more unprotected I guess you could say in a way because if we were to turn our Bronto to the side, the bullets would start shooting at us, the player, instead of the Bronto, and we would get hit instead of the Bronto, pretty much nullifying this effect. So that is why the Bronto is number 5 on this list, because it's got a crap ton of health, it can actually soak the bullets in front of you like the Stego does, and yeah, it's just got a crap ton of health and easily able to soak bullets. So coming in at number 4, we have the Stego. Now the Stego used to be the real MV or MVP of turret soaking, However, it has taken a recent nerf and it doesn't soak as much damage as it used to. But essentially, its plates block the damage from the turrets from hitting the rider, which is a great way to mitigate some of the damage from the rider. However, you do have to have bred up stegos with lots of health and relatively decent saddles. These guys are running on primitive saddles as well, so they do have to contend with that. We haven't put any decent saddles on them, but once you get into the world of Ark, you'll actually be able to put really good saddles on these guys, and they can get the damage to as low as 20 damage, which is great. However, do take into mind that our Stego will die here because he has horrible health. He's only got 4k health, 
So you will need to pump up the health on the Stego quite a bit for it to be an effective soaker as well and have decent saddles. But other than that, that's what makes it a great soaker. The fact that its plates protect the rider from getting shot at and it is definitely one of the dinos you can use in terms of taking up and soaking even if the turrets are set to players only you can soak it with the stego because its plates protect you coming in at number three it's a bit of a tie we've got the packy rhino and the trike now these guys are the better soakers than the stego in my opinion they do lack a little bit of health in comparison to the stego however their armor plates definitely negates that now these guys are great soakers because their face plates essentially reduce the damage the turrets deal by 75%. You can see here the turrets ahead in front of us are set to players only, but they are effectively hitting our trike. They are hitting us a little bit, but you can easily mitigate that by jumping off the trike and just crouching beneath it. And you can see that this trike is tanking like a beast. Look at the damage that the turrets are actually doing to the trike. We only have a primitive saddle on this trike and it only has about 3k health. This trike is soaking it like a champ, and these trikes are definitely worth investing in, in my opinion. Now, the Paki Rhinosaurus also has the same effect as the trike in terms of its faceplate, mitigating some of the damage that uh, it takes, which is a great way. The only difference between these two is that they uh, obviously have different abilities. The trike has the ramming one and whatnot, whereas the Paki Rhino has the ability to nullify and anger creatures. You can see if we come on here, it does take the same amount of damage. It takes 8 damage actually. I'm not sure if their saddles is different in terms of armor. No, it's the same. So the Paki Rhino actually soaks a little bit better than the Trike. One point worth of damage difference between the two. So that is a great investment to have. Now also the Paki Rhino also had more health than our Trike. Whether that's a fact from us spawning them in and having wild stats or not, we're not 100% sure. I'm not sure if their base stats are higher or if they're the same. We have done an arc inside on it, so we would be able to tell ourselves in that. But these guys are just as good as the trike, if not a little bit better because that eight damage. So it all comes down to you whether or not you want to invest in Paki Rhinos or trikes. I think they both have different kibbles and whatnot, so there is that to factor in as well. But these guys both tie in at number three just because they are great soakers. They do reduce the amount of damage greatly in comparison to the Stego, which was taking 41. These guys are taking eight damage with a primitive saddle as well. Imagine what you'd be able to accomplish with these guys being on like an Mastercraft saddle with like 70 armor. It's ridiculous. That'll reduce the arm damage down to about three points of damage, which is great. So that's why the Trike and the Paki Rhino are number three on this list. Coming in at number two, we have the Rock Elemental or the Rock Gom, however the heck you want to call it. This guy is a great soaker. He's on par with like the Giganto Pisicus and the trikes in that his whole body is pretty much armored. You know, he doesn't have to worry about trikes hitting him, uh, not trikes, sorry, the bullets hitting him because he just reduces the damage so great. These guys also have a huge abundance of health as well for themselves, which definitely helps in the process of tanking bullets. You can see here, this guy's base health when we first spawned him in was 12,000, but we've pumped five levels into health. I'm pretty sure he, you don't actually get that much health. It's just because of our service stats. So there is that as well. But you'll see when we run up to the charts, these charts, like I said in front of us, are set to players only. There is something that you have to be careful of in terms of those regards. But essentially what you can do once you've got into the turrets or you're in like their proximity is all you need to do is turn around and you can actually just walk backwards and the turrets will shoot at the back of the rock elemental, protecting you from the bullets. You can see here we are taking all the bullets into the back of the rock elemental and we are not taking any damage from it. You do have to be careful though, because if obviously they have a bunch of turrets in a certain area surrounding something, you have to be careful that you as the player won't get shot, but I'm sure you'll be wearing armor for that. But look at the rock elemental go. He is just soaking the bullets like there is no tomorrow. He is an absolute machine when it comes to soaking, and you can see that we've barely scrapped 10,000 health. Now, as well as that, I don't know if we can actually feed these guys to uh, bring the health up. I think feed them stone or sulfur or something. But you can actually regenerate the health obviously by using this and you can give them free Akari which will also reduce the amount of damage they take plus the saddle difference as well. This is like I said a primitive saddle. If you get like an apprentice, a mastercraft, a journeyman saddle on these guys you'll essentially be taking like two damage. Even an ascendant one will probably reduce it right down to one damage. You have a you have a bunch of imprinted rock elementals. Sorry not imprinted. I don't think you can breed these. You have a bunch of high level rock elementals. 
you're easily going to be able to tank all the bullets out of a turret. It's ridiculous. So do take that into mind as well. But that is essentially why the Rock Golds are number two on this list. Look at that. Look at the amount of damage these turrets are doing to us. Now, like I said, if you are the player on the Rock Elemental, do be careful because you still can get shot by them. So there is that to contend with as well. But like I said, you can easily just turn around, make sure they hit your arm or whatnot, and just tank them like that. But that is why the Rock Elemental is number two on this list. Now, coming in at number one, it's so big we can't actually fit it all in the camera. There we go. It's the Titanosaur. At number one, we have the Titanosaur. He is the beastiest of all dinos, and he is the king of soaking. You can see there we're dealing, we're taking 11 damage from these turrets, which is, you know, obviously a, a substantial amount. But the Titanosaur has over 30,000 health. Look at that. Now, the only downside to this is obviously you have to tame up the Titanosaur and then get enough stuff for its saddle. But these guys are essentially the kings of soaking because not only do they have the ability to soak the turrets themselves, you can actually demo them when you get close enough to them. You can see there we just took out all three of the turrets. We've only got one turret shooting at us now. It's only dealing 11 damage to it. But, you know, the Titanosaur is definitely the king of soaking turrets. You can see there we're easily able to break apart the turrets that are there. And even if the turrets are set to players only, you can easily build a little box around yourself if the walls and turrets are that high. Just build a little box around yourself and you'll be safe. But that is why the Titanosaur is the king of soaking. It has the huge health pool, the reduced amount of damage, and it has the ability to destroy the turrets in one hit. It's ridiculously powerful. So guys, that'll conclude today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know whether or not you agreed with the video. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one.